All right. Hello. Our project is uh, an Amazon review generator. I'm the product manager, Jonathan, as well as a backend developer. Uh, hi, I'm Shristi, and I am the model trainer and front end developer. Um, I'm Kai, and I helped mostly with the front end, but I also helped a little bit with creating the model. I'm Ariel, and I did mostly front end developing. Um, I'm Anatolia, and I worked as the back end engineer. And then we have our mentor, Shi Chi. So, our possible uses for our generator can be uh, being a send starter or like, for example, like the previous group's pencil pusher for a review for Amazon Electronics. Uh, and since Amazon has a very broad range of different products, we chose to narrow it down to electronics only to keep it from being a huge hassle of doing every single uh, type of product. And say you're a company who needs some reviews on a product you don't want an empty page for a product and nobody's going to look at it because there's no reviews so this can be used to write some starting reviews for your product so some people will look at it and whether you're an individual or computing company and you hate somebody or some company you can always write negative reviews using our generator Um, so what did we use to make a review generator? We used uh, Python 3 um, uh, that we used in the weeks of AI camp. And then we used a GPT-2 GPT model and we used a natural language processing. So the first step was finding the proper data sets of electronics. And we found one called 2018 Electronics Reviews from Kaggle. It basically had reviews from uh, different electronics from 2018 and earlier. And this contained about 14,000 reviews. And we web scraped it and everything, some extra ones. And we also cleaned it up to take out stop words and separate it into positive and negative reviews for one of our extensions. Uh, step two was training the model. After we trained the model with just an original data set, we didn't switch it into positive or negative after cleaning out stop words. We let it run the 14,000 reviews and it, it ran fine, except for the part where sometimes it would uh, mix up terminology for maybe two different types of products. It say screen on something that wouldn't have a screen and it still does that sometimes, but we've main, managed to clear out the, the, the bigger parts. And we experimented with the hyperparameters uh, here and there to make sure it seemed more like a human was writing it than a robot was writing it. So step three was extending the idea since we felt that it was very basic if we only kept it to just one review or just one type. and we thought up of multiple ideas, such as maybe going, making one for eBay, or maybe going to a different type of product that wasn't electronics, maybe books, food, anything else. But in the end, we decided on allowing the, the model to create a positive or negative review based on, and you can select which one you want. So we separated the reviews using text blob into positive and negative lists and train two separate models with those now separate lists. And the last step was creating the website and deploying everything. So we took a template and changed it to make it look good and match the type of setting we want for the Amazon logo. And that's pretty much it after creating the website and deploying it. Okay, and then for some of the difficulties, for some of the difficult difficulties we had, um, first up was, uh, was like training the model. Um, so like at first when we like began training our model, a lot of that um, thing, like a lot of the results we had didn't really make a lot of sense. 
So then we had to um, continue to like retrain our models and stuff. And each time it took like 20 plus minutes and it took, it was, it was a pretty long process. So it was a lot of patience needed for that. Um, and then afterward, another thing that was pretty difficult for us was like debugging. So um, oftentimes like in big projects, similar to like one, similar to one like this, um, you'll encounter like a lot of errors when trying to make it. So that's, that's basically what we struggled with a lot. And we had to, we had to like address each error, like um, search for each error and then address it. And that took a lot of time. Uh, another thing was uh, sentiment analysis. So um, we wanted to generate like positive and negative reviews. So something that we had to use was sentiment analysis to like uh, determine how like positive or negative a, like a particular review is. And um, so uh, having to having to like go through our data set, which had like thousands of reviews, and being able to determine uh, which ones are positive, and which ones are negative, took a lot of time to like process. So uh, again, similar to like the training the model, it was very it was all about patience and waiting for it to just like run, and then retraining our model. So once we had the sentiment analysis, we had um different like we had some positive reviews and some negative reviews. So we had to train two different models, one based on positive and one based on negative. So um, similar to like the training, the, uh, training the model the first time, it was um, just very time consuming and um, it was just like different challenges for each model. And now I'll let uh, Shristi take over for me. Yeah, so uh, basically, oh, okay, I'll share my screen then. Okay, so um, here I will. So our button for trying our model is at the top of the screen. So let's go. Uh, this is an example of one I was trying before. Uh, I, I uh, typed in speakers here. So one was um, speakers can be cranked up and high in the chorus, otherwise great for the price as our positive review. And for our negative review, uh, they talk about how speakers um, have been absolute disappointment. Um, um, like overall, if you read it, you can see how the overall like general uh, message is negative. Um, and one thing I like about our um, our demo is or our model is that we can actually edit the review. So one of our possible uses was like getting inspiration or like changing it up a bit. So actually we can like change uh, the words for here if we want to change the reviews. And let's try a different. So I put in computer, uh, it'll take a little bit, but we will get one. Okay, so our positive review, it says that the computer is awesome. Only wish that the next model would have been, uh, would have been available at this time. <clears throat> so as you can see, it is positive. Um, the uh, review literally says that they want the next model already. Um, but in the negative review, it says that computerism is just a matter of personal preference because it is so narrow that it is hard to make a screen pr protector. Um, and I even spotted areas of poor quality on the screen, which only came off on the left side. Horrible. Um, amazingly, it's only two bucks, so I'll give it zero stars. So it's not perfect, but the overall like general message is, again, um, negative. And we can try camera. So yeah, for our positive review, we have a uh, camera fits my Olympus easier perfectly. It feels great in your hand too. It has a very comfortable weight. Um, so uh, overall, you can see that it has a very positive message. And here, uh, the negative review, it says that it's just fine, but the lens is not very sharp. It takes forever to get off uh, the camera and back on with battery replacements. And um, they ended up replacing it. 
So again, an overall negative um, message. Uh, so I think for our um, model, there might be some electronics that might not work due to the data set. But if uh, we have time, some people can put some electronics in the chat and we can try them out. Uh, okay, uh, I see iPod. Oh, <laughs> I see dog. Okay, we'll try iPod first and we can try it with something that's not an electronic for fun. After. So it says that this uh, iPod would have been fine for somebody who uses their laptop as their own memory and has an onboard USB interface but it would be much better for a PC or a server uh, to use their laptop. So it's not totally, totally relevant to an iPod probably because the data set didn't have too many iPod um, reviews and the same for the negative one. It does have kind of some um, relevance, but not really that much. So I guess iPod was one of the ones that uh, the data sets didn't have really have, but I saw somebody write in dog. So let's try one that's not an electronic. Dog fits nice and snug, comes with a variety of different sizes, so there is no problem for a mini keyboard. So again, it's dog is not actually a um, electronic, so obviously there would not be a really good review for it because this is just on electronics. But in the future, we do hope to expand this to different um, products or different things and um, different platforms. So yeah, that is our model. Thank you.